is biotechnology. In agricultural biotechnology, the plant produces products that give it special qualities like higher nutrition, resistance to pests and diseases, or increased yield. Through biotechnology, scientists can customize crop plants by identifying a specific trait, like better taste or hardiness, from one source and then transferring that trait into the plant. Is biotechnology new? Using biotechnology to produce food is not new. For nearly 6,000 years, people have used yeast, a living organism, to make bread rise. And we've used biotech for almost as long to ferment beer and wine. Modern biotechnology is based on discoveries that were made more than 150 years ago by a monk named Gregor Mendel. Mendel figured out how hereditary traits are passed from parents to offspring in plants. Since then, people have used Mendel's discoveries to breed better crops. This process is called traditional crossbreeding, but it transfers many genes for many different traits into the offspring. It takes generations and generations to breed out unwanted traits. It's a slow process because each generation takes a whole growing season. With modern biotechnology, we can transfer a single gene for a specific trait from one source into another plant. The process is still based on Mendel's laws of heredity, but it's quicker and more precise than traditional breeding. How does biotechnology work? Biotechnology works according to the natural laws of heredity the way nature passes traits from parents to offspring through genes. Genes are pieces of DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, and DNA exists in all the cells of all living things, including plants. With biotechnology, scientists identify a gene for a certain trait and then transfer only that gene into the DNA of a plant cell. Then, they grow the modified cell into a whole plant that has the new trait. And all this can happen very precisely. Growing more food. Advances in biotechnology can help us produce more food on land we already cultivate or on land that's currently unsuitable for farming. For instance, 
farmers could grow more food on each plant. Or they may be able to produce food on land that's too dry, too rocky, too salty, or too cold for today's crops. With world population expected to increase by 2 billion people in the next 30 years, biotechnology could provide an important way to produce enough food while we preserve wildlife habitats and the Earth's natural resources, all at the same time. Growing better food. Advances in biotechnology can make our food healthier and more nutritious. One day, grains, fruits, and vegetables could contain higher amounts of the vitamins, minerals, and protein we need every day. Food may have less fatty acids or help us control our blood pressure or cholesterol. Biotechnology could even help reduce or eliminate the protein in peanuts that causes an allergic reaction in more than 3 million Americans every year. In fact, biotechnology has helped develop rice that contains beta-carotene, a source of vitamin A. Called golden rice, in the future it could protect millions of children from the blindness and diseases caused by vitamin A deficiency. Protecting the environment. Advances in biotechnology can have important, beneficial effects on the environment. Weeds and bugs are big problems for farmers. Biotechnology is another tool to help farmers. Many farmers plow their fields to destroy the weeds, but plowing can cause soil erosion. Thanks to biotechnology, a farmer can manage the weeds and plow less. This saves energy as well as the soil. Biotechnology also helps farmers to control harmful bugs. Thanks to biotechnology, Farmers can now plant seeds that allow the plant to protect itself from harmful insects. For instance, crops enhanced by biotechnology can protect themselves from insects and diseases and reduce the amount of pesticides farmers need to use. In fact, since farmers started to grow insect-resistant cotton, they have cut their insecticide use by millions of pounds. Giving farmers choices to control harmful bugs and weeds helps their farms and the environment. Safety and Regulation The safety and regulation of biotechnology has been carefully considered over many years. Every agricultural product of biotechnology is thoroughly tested in the lab, in growth chambers, in greenhouses, and in the field to assure its safety. Once this research is done, which can take years to complete, the results are reviewed by a variety of experts. In America, three government agencies decide whether the crops are safe and whether they can be sold to farmers. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, the USDA, reviews the environmental safety of biotech plants, provides permits for testing them in the field, and approves their sale to farmers. The Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, assesses whether the food and feed from biotech crops is safe for human and animal use. The Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, oversees biotech crops that protect themselves from insects to be sure they're safe for the environment and safe to eat. Many scientific organizations and scientists around the world have endorsed the safety and benefits of agricultural biotechnology Someday, farmers could produce more food, help the environment, and produce more nutritious food.